Yeah. Shikamo. Marahaba. Shikamo. Marahaba ni furaha. So you can see this town is very busy today. These are all the uh, dollar dollars that are being wait, carrying passengers to different parts in the town and to other areas. And here, of course, you can see people are selling cloth. They're also selling bed sheets and different things like that. So it's a real good vibe here in Jamaica. I'm by my brother here today, Abu Bakr. Abu Bakari, Abu Bakari, Salima, Salimia, audience, Yangu Leo. Habari Zenu. Habari Zenu. Yeah. Habari Zenu with a Siri in Kingereza, Tafadali. I mean, it, Bamba. how are you? How are you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, Majini Hapa, yes. ni, what, is it, what is it called? Yeah. What's the name of this place? Um, Jamaica Sokoni. Okay, so this is. Temeke Sokoni, meaning to make a market. Vile uh, Vile Temeke Mejini. Yeah, Temeke And it's also known as Temeka Town as well. So, yeah, we're just walking around and see what it's like. So, let me show you what I'm seeing right now. So on the roadside here you will see a lot of people selling you know things like cloth and different bed sheets and stuff for women so you can see people are actually singing while they get their customers so it's a really unique vibe here in uh, Tanzania here where people are just singing and they're calling out their price and people will come and buy. Mm. So this is what, you know, a real market is like here in Tanzania, in Temeke, Dar es Salaam. Now this is really off the beaten path. You know, a lot of people visiting may not get to see this part of town, but I'm really showing you this today so you get an idea of what it's like. So, a lot of people come here to this section of the market to actually buy cloth as you can see and so you'll see a lot of women in this side of the market here. Huh? Many women. Wanawake uh wengi. -huh. So in Kiswahili you'll say wanawake wengi and that means many women many women so you can see i mean if if any of my viewers watching if you're interested in some of these cloth you're seeing here One of the things you'll notice in these markets they will have a speaker which calls out the price of the items so for example you're here in Miyatano Miyatano that means like 500 shillings they're asking for for a particular item
Unatakiwa usimame na mtu uzungumze naye. Mimi kuhusu habari za hapa sokoni. So many people are here in the market today. As you can see it's a busy day and usually it's quite busy every day but I think more on the weekends here in Temeke it will be the weekends will be quite busy especially on Fridays, Saturdays coming to those times will definitely be busy here in the market. You can also buy clothes for the children here as well. So, you know, if you're living in this side of Dar es Salaam, now this is southern Dar es Salaam, you wouldn't need to actually come to other areas because literally everything that the locals have in this area, they have everything here from clothes, slippers, food. So this market really does cater for the local needs. Big market. big market. It's a very big market here. Shoes. Yeah. yeah. And bikini, no bikini. Yes. <laughs> you can also you can also get bikinis yeah. here in the market. So Abu Bakr, what do you think of the market? Uh, it's very very good. It's good? Very, very big. It's very big? Yeah, it's very big, very big. Yeah. Because what to me, I put your half a pussy. The local man, local man. Quilly. I mean, my issue, my dog. Mmm. Due to your bear, you know? Quilly. Yeah. So you're saying a lot of, you know, people come here, you know, to buy different things. Baba, let's talk about it. Ah? I don't know, man. Yeah. But so far what I'm, I'm noticing in this section of the market, like I said, a lot of women are coming to this section, clearly because of the items being sold in this section of the market caters towards women. And these are all makeups and other cosmetics. These are clothes for children, again. So... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lord, these um, things are like bras. Some of them are second hand and some you can get brand new. We need Matunda. Matunda. Say Matunda. Matunda. This side. This side. Oh, Kweli Kabisa. This side. Nanasi. Oh, we're in the Natembea. Kajandoka. So in this section here, you will find things like fruits here in Jamaica. So let's see if we can see the name. So the, these are going for like 500. These are Nanasi. And in English, you say pineapple. There's also pili pili ho ho. These are green pepper. Okay. In chai chai. In chai chai. Yeah. For uh, chai. Chai. Okay. So yeah. this is what they make the chai with. How about it? Yeah. Uh -huh. Chai. Okay, sir. So, uh, yeah. I'm <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, video? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, sir. <laughs> hey, so, yeah, so yeah, my brother here is selling. This is pili pili ho ho and uh, uh, karoti. Karoti. So, no, no, no. Vipi? Freshy. Freshy, freshy. Sour, sour. So yeah, so you can see some of the uh, market traders here, they're selling real natural products and um, that guy sells here every day. So they, they, this is some people's way of life. This is what they do for a living and um, yeah.
this is what a market is like, a real local market is like here in Dar es Salaam. How about it? Yeah, yeah. So this is the real life here in Temeke, that is Te Temeke market, or in Swahili they'll say uh, Te Temeke la Soponi, Soponi la Temeke. And what I like about this market is the variety of things you can find here. Limes, tomatoes, pineapples, it's truly amazing guys. I'm really blown away one, uh, by the amount of different fruits you can find here in Dar es Salaam. Kambali. Kambali nini? Oh, fish. Okay, okay, okay. So, so that's fish. And also these are viazi. Uh, viazi or, or, or potatoes. Potatoes. And these are different smoked fish as well. People buy to prepare. Yeah. Their foods. Yeah. So yeah, this is the back end of the market. The other section you will find things like butchers. Yeah. And also uh Nyama Yakuku Kenyeji or broiler. Ah no, not a broiler. Kenyeji. So Kenyeji. So, so, so here you can buy what is called uh, local chickens. Now many of us know broilers in the West, but these are actually indigenous native chickens and this is what they look like and this is how they keep them here in the market. So this is uh Namaya Kuku Kenyeji. Kuku Kenyeji, they'll say in Kiswahili. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. And they even have pigeons here as well. Yeah. Mm. Like chicken big. Ah, okay, so. These are some of the birds they have here. Assalamu alaikum. This is Temek area. Yeah. So this is what you'll find when you go to Temeke Sokoni, Temeke Market. Mambo uh. Vipi. <laughs> Move this here. This way? Yeah. Okay, so. so this side here you'll find different women selling food. Huh? So, so. Wait a moment. So. <laughs> so I'm literally here now and this is some of the things you'll find here in the market. They have a variety of stuff now. I know some people feel a way about how the chickens are kept there. But you know, this is how they do it here in the market here in Temeke in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. So um, yeah, this is it so far. So far the vibe been great. People have been still welcoming, saying hello. 
asking how I'm doing. Some have even asked me to film their shop. So it's been good, it's been good. <laughs> so this is the the market here. This is a nananasi. Okay. Ube ube tona zaidi. Nananasi biga riba gani? Mia mbili. Okay, so. Nananasi ni mtamu sana? Kweli? Sawa, sawa. So habari sokoni leo? Ni sawa? Sawa. Asante. Kona siku njema. Ah, asante. So this is a nananasi which is pineapple and it costs around 200 Tanzanian shillings. Really nice, really sweet. So we just came from the market side of Temeke and we'll be walking around, uh, you know, a small village area here in Temeke. I wanted to give you a little feel of what it's like and this is one of the second village I'm visiting here and I notice again we, we're noticing a lot of sand in this village and like I was telling you Dar es Salaam is indeed a coastal city so this is something that you will notice when you visit certain village in, the, in, in uh, Dar es Salaam so let me show you what I'm seeing right now okay. This is charcoal for sale. This is where people have the charcoal. Local chickens walking around. And these are houses where people live. People actually live here. Children playing, people hanging their clothes. And one thing you'll notice when you visit the villages here in uh, Dar es Salaam, you'll see a lot of coconut trees. And right in front of me there is a coconut tree. Katika Kiswahili Minazi. Hippie? Minazi. So, so this is called uh, in, in Kiswahili Minazi ni coconut tree. It means coconut tree. Minazi. Mm. Mm. Kama cow. Yeah. <laughs> So it's to make a village here, yeah, you know, and it's really a, a, another thing again, really laid back, guys, really chilled, you know. People are just chilled here, you know. Some people sitting, children sitting down, playing. There's a tailor doing some work there, you know, and it's a real nice, mellow vibes. Another kind of vibe in the previous village I visited in Kigamboni. I'm feeling the same vibes here. These are mangoes being sold here, you know. A tailor is sewing real nice village life, you know. Temeke city. Temeke town. Make a this is the real, real village life, you know. Village. Yeah. Grandmother. Yes, yes. Yeah. Nyanya. <laughs> oh, Bibi. Bibi. Yeah. Shikamo. Marahaba. Yeah. Shikamo. Marahaba. Yeah. Yeah. So when you greet elders here in Tanzania, a good word to say is, oh, and they answer, Marahaba. You know, and, and that means they accept the greetings. So yeah, this is really the calm, nice village life here in Tanzania. I'm giving you the real raw view of what it's like, you know, in the inner towns and villages in Dar es Salaam.
you know this channel shows different aspects of life to various places that I travel to so I hope you're enjoying it and I do appreciate your time for always coming back to watch my videos so let's explore more of Temeke village Abu Bakar, yes. Mambo Vipi, Una Kamia, Kiki Mia Sana, eh? Sasa to 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 Abu Bakr doesn't like to speak English. He, he prefers to speak uh, Kiswahili. And he's saying that's the language of, the national language yes, yeah. of Tanzania, so he prefers to speak that. So when you're visiting Tanzania, it's good to learn a few phrases so you can, you know, break the ice with uh, some of the locals here in Tanzania. So these are all houses. People actually live in these houses here in the village. And um, you notice in many houses in Dar es Salaam, they have like the burglar proof in front of the doors and the windows, you know. And I guess that's a deterrence and a security mechanism to prevent anyone from breaking in. Over there is a lumber yard and people can buy wood and different things to make beds, chairs and other, and other furniture. Yeah. Coming up to the left, this is what a local shop in the village here of Temeka looks like. You can get things like drinks, you can top up your mobile phones. Abariako. Uh -huh. You can see the rain. There was a lot of rain this morning, and you can see still the road is still a bit wet and muddy. So you have to watch your steps because. Um, Abarizeno. You'll notice that in the villages, when you come in, they're not really paved road in this section. So you, it's quite sandy. So when, once it rains, it can get really muddy. But once you come out of the village side and you come onto like the main highway, the main roads, you'll notice that the roads are paved like here. So I'm going to end the vlog here today guys, thank you so much for watching, we've walked around, we've seen what Temeke is like, we've seen the market, we saw what the village is like, a mini village here in Temeke, so I gave you a vibe of the other side, the real streets of Dar es Salaam that you may not usually see, and it's a beautiful place to visit, people are welcoming, they're friendly, you can go in the market, and of course don't forget to bargain the price. So that's important but it's been a beautiful experience and I do appreciate your time for always coming back and watch my videos and please remember to like share and subscribe to the channel by clicking on the rent box below this video that says subscribe my name is Wemba Imani and thank you for watching Kwaheri goodbye